Hello guys, uh, good evening. Thank you so much for being on time. All right, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right guys, uh, let me just put my, my glasses. Last time I, I, I lost them, I don't know where I, where I put them. But right now, uh, I just came from, from work. Okay. okay guys, thank you so much for being on time. Uh, tonight we are going to double check uh, a new topic or basically a topic that we already checked together, right? Last class, we were checking um, topics like, not like the topics that we have in the platform, right? So which, uh, which those are conjunctions and model verbs, right? So, but first to the first, we are going to uh, double check our motivation section, all right? So remember that we need to be motivated, all right? So, and today is another day that God has made, all right? So I don't know if you understood what, what I just mentioned, but today is another day that God just made, all right? So anyways, let's go. Let's see. Let me, let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, okay? Give me one second. Let's see. All right, let's see. Just a moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to check this part with you guys. <clears throat> All right, it says like this, right? So first we need to set motivation. Come on, let's go. Everybody repeat motivation. Come on, let's go. Motivation, let's go. Motivation. 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 All right, so I know, I understand, I understand that today, <laughs> all right, I understand that tonight, I mean, today, it's Monday, right? It's Monday, and we are like, uh, you know, <laughs> we don't want to talk, we feel tired, you know, so anybody can tell me, if I do ask a simple question, tell me anyone, if you guys woke up around, I mean, before three o'clock, because that's the time that I woke up today, tonight, I mean, today morning. Anybody, alguien se despertó antes de las tres? Y es el campeón de la, el campeón de la noche. Nobody? Nobody. All right, all right. Probably you guys woke up around five, six, right? So that's the time. But I woke up at three and I bounced. I just went to work at 4.30. Okay, so now let's see. Education, all right? So it says, uh, the quote, uh, the quote for this lovely night, it says like this, right? Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. All right, let me repeat it back to you once again. All right. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. All right. So what did that mean? Anybody can tell me? Anybody understood this uh, lovely quote? English or Spanish doesn't matter, but... Be, be, it would be better if you talk if you speak English, all right? Anybody can tell me what it, that means. Education is the most powerful, all right? The most powerful weapon you can use to change the world by BB King. Mm -hmm. Anybody can tell me that? I understand that uh, in Spanish is uh, la educación es como el arma más poderosa que puede usar para cambiar el mundo. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. The education is the most powerful, right? So what we what you guys are doing right now, you are getting educated, right? So you are getting education by having classes, right? Through the website, through the Zoom platform, okay? So now let's repeat everybody. Education is the most powerful. Come on, everybody, let's go. Let's go. Education, education is the most, most powerful. powerful. Most powerful. Most Weapon you can use to change the world. Weapon you can use to change the world. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, one more time. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Se ha fijado mis my kiddos. Mis niños, mis niñas, ¿se han, ¿se han fijado que, no sé, verdad, es pregunta bien personal, pero va directa para todos. Cuando usted, when you guys already finish, when you guys already complete any uh, curse, eh, any career or any major, in this case, you want to keep the setting. 
Si usted ya, ya sacó su licenciatura, ya sacó su bachillerato, usted quiere seguir estudiando, a pesar de que uno ya tiene su, su edad, ¿verdad? Se está haciendo más joven, ¿verdad? Porque la edad es un, es un número. No estamos haciendo más jovencitos, pero la edad es un número, ¿verdad? Entonces usted dice, I want to learn, I want to learn more. I want to learn to speak English, right? So that's the reason that you guys need to pay attention and say, hey, the education is the most powerful weapon you can use to, to change the world. All right. So what you guys are doing right now, you guys are giving, you guys are giving uh, strategies, uh, options, ways to learn to your family, ¿verdad? Porque sus niños y sus niñas, su familia en sí, lo están viendo a usted y dicen, oh, look my dad. Look my dad, he's learning to speak English. All right? So, and that's the reason that the education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. All right, very good. So now, first to the first, another thing that I would like to share with you guys, it's that you need to have the cameras on. Remember, we need to work on your platform. All right, so exercises needs to be done as soon as, as soon as, as soon as possible. All right, as soon as you can. All right, so because remember that you need to hit the eighty percent. All right, the eighty percent in order to uh, save your space. All right, for next model. All right, so you already know that, right? Our coordinators are putting the, the information through our WhatsApp group. And you are aware about that, right? Los coordinadores han estado, han estado poniendo esa información siempre. But I have to let you know again, right? Because you need to complete the exercises and hit, o most likely, uh, usted tiene que agarrar el 80% para poder encontrar este, su espacio next, next, uh, next model, okay? So now let's see. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm going to check at this moment. Give me one second. Let's see. Some of you guys are basically working from work. I mean, because uh, you did it, you couldn't complete, right? You are working and you are just listening. No worries, okay? So our coordinators are are going to listen to this class and they will be checking everything as well, okay? So let's see. All right, so. All right, so we are going to double check first uh, some exercises that we have pending from last class. Remember the last class we were just talking. We were talking about the topics and we didn't check anything. All right. So we just check some information, but not like the way we not like the way we are going to do it today tonight. All right. So uh let's see. Give me one second. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. Please. Let's see. Yes. All right. So Instructions. Let's see, Elizabeth Enriqueta, please uh, read the instructions for everybody, please. English, this one. Read the sentences and choose the correct conjunction. Very good, right? So far, so good. We already know what a conjunctions are, what a connectors are, right? Connectors and conjunctions are the same, all right? So no matter. The thing is that you guys need to use all the connectors, right? The connectors in order to sound better, all right? Usted tiene que utilizar sus conexiones y toda la información que le estamos compartiendo para que usted suene de una manera elegante. Más bien, no elegante, sino que este gramaticalmente correcto, ¿verdad? Que no se oiga mal, ¿verdad? Entonces dice acá, all right, Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. And or but, Taipei is very nice. Is and everyone is extremely friendly. Taipei is and, very nice. And, 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 and all right. So what would be the what would be the, the first or the second one? One. All right. First. So, the first, first one. one. The first one. Okay. So the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. N or dot or dot. I'm sorry. Dot. 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 All right. So second one. All right. The weather is nice. Summer. Summers get pretty hot, and however, 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 however. So if I do ask Miriam Darlene, what a however means? No matter, you know, this is not a translation class, but tell me what a uh, what what a however means that. for you. However, ¿Qué era lo que dijimos lo que era? Five. Very good. Ex excellent. Yeah, very good. So 
now from now on you guys need to start using you know those uh details let's see laura sorry sorry solo oyente por eso estoy en casa no estoy en casa sorry aquí como oyente de turnito all right not a problem of email and laura okay so all right shopping is great you have to work in and the markets and but but, but. 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 number one number two Number one. Number, number, one. One. number one. Number one, right? The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. And or but. And. 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 and, and. and. Which is number what? Number two. Second. No, second. Second one. All right. Very good. Excellent. 33 of 33. All right. So, guys, uh, let's uh, everybody repeat. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. 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 All right. The streets are the streets are crowded. The streets, the streets are, are crowded. crowded. It's easy to get around. It, it's, it's easy, easy to, to get around. around. All right. Wow. All right, shopping. Uh, I'm sorry. The weather is nice. The weather is nice. 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 Summers get pretty hot. Summers get pretty hot. Get pretty hot. Get pretty hot. Summers, however, summers get pretty hot. Summers get pretty hot. Excellent, Jose. Solo estoy como en el trabajo, okay. All right, let's see. Shopping is great. Do you have to bargain in the market? Shopping is great. Shopping is great. Shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. All right, the food is delicious. Is it's not too expensive. The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. But the food is delicious and it's not too expensive. All right, give me one second. Let's see. Let me share some other information with you. Give me one second. All right, this is basically uh, the, the objective the tonight objectives, right? So in this session, model verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. All right, so in esta clase, los verbos modales can, poder, and should debería ser, se, debería serán presentados en la siguiente conversación. All right, so now let me explain or give you a short definition about should and can. Remember that I was, uh, I don't know if I was double checking this information with you. You tell me if you remember about that. Uh, when you mention something, for for example, if I if I said, uh, let's see who else is here. If I asked to Susan or Susanna, if I said, can you can you pay attention in my classes, Susana? ¿Usted cree que esa es la 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 oración formal o la informal? ¿Cuál sería la más recomendable? Si yo le digo a Susana, can you pay attention, Susana? O should, could you please pay attention? A, a, quitemos el should ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero le voy a poner el cool, ¿verdad? El cool es este. Vamos a ver, yes. cool. Entonces, solo este es un, es como un uh, short paréntesis para, no sé si usted ya lo sabía, que cuando usted dice can es informal en cool y es, y cool es formal o sea por no decirlo mm. el cool es el, el correcto y el, el quién es el, el ordinario como acaban de decir por ahí verdad que aquel que se oye bien fuerte verdad entonces solo como un, un short paréntesis all right so now este va a ser la cómo se llama los objetivos o el objetivo principal de esta clase ok vamos a ver Mítame. vamos a ver all right, lesson objective, lo tenemos acá. All right. 
Let me know if you're able to see the video. Are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. All right, do you guys understood when or do you comprehend when somebody is telling is telling you or asking you what should I see there? If I said if I ask, let's see, give me one second. If I ask, uh, let's see, let's see. If I ask uh, Diego, if I am, if I'm, if I, if I do ask this question, all right, let's pretend that we, I mean, that you, that you are from San Miguel and I am from San Salvador. All right, so, and I'm going to ask you, Diego, what should I, what should I see there? Because I want to go and visit San Miguel, verdad? I want to go and visit San Miguel and I'm going to ask you, Diego, what should I see there? Porque si se fijo lo que, lo que le explicó la muchacha al, al caballero acá en el video, ¿verdad? Se lo pongo de nuevo, es rápido. Hi. Sí, okay. póngalo de nuevo, por favor. Conversation okay. and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. All right. So now do you get that, the, the, the example, uh, Diego? Yes? You should visit the Volcan Chaparral ticket. Excellent. Um, very, very good. Very good. The stadium Barraza in in a, a soccer a soccer a match. Mm -hmm. The field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? That's um, it? That's it. All right, very good. No, all right, all right. Not a problem. Just uh, keep in mind that we are creating a scenarios, right? All right, so you need to assume a scenarios, all right? So if I, if I ask a question, usted no, no piense que usted es de ahí, ¿verdad? Usted asuma que es de ahí, pero no es de ahí. Solo acuérdese, pero obviamente usted es de El Salvador, ¿verdad? Y el que no es, pues también le, le vamos a ayudar. Pero si yo le digo, let's see, vamos a ver, alguien tenga la cámara apagada, vamos a ver. Give me one second. So, <clears throat> all right, so let's see, camera apagada, Aleida Arely, are you there? Abimael está de, de, de audiente. All right, uh, let's see. Francisco Armando, are you there? O está de, odien, de oyente. Vamos a ver, yo creo que está oyente también. Vamos a ver. Iris Vanessa Queller Batres, are you there? Iris, Vanessa, Quiller, Buttress, are you there? No? All right. So, anyways, let's see. The ones that has the cameras on and I can see it. All right. So, let's see. Uh, Amalia. All right. So, you are from San Salvador or from where? Which part of El Salvador you are? Where are you from? I mean, you are from El Salvador, right? But tell me which part of, of uh, from El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. San Salvador. All right. So, uh, if you know... Soyapango, the best city to live. All right, so you know Soyapango, right? Yes. Okay. Mm, a little bit. I uh, never. Yeah. I knock. I knock. What about uh, Santa Tecla? Do you know Santa Tecla? Okay. You know? 
Yes. All right, you know Santa Tecla, right? So if I do ask, uh, Amalia, what should I see there? Because I want to go to Santa Tecla and have fun with my family. What I should, what I should see there? Tell me. I see there. I sure the cafe talon. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, I see football. Play soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, I running. All right, all right. So, okay, probably we haven't understood, we, we didn't, I mean, I didn't explain myself the question, right? Or what okay. I want you to you answer. Tal vez no me expliqué lo que quiero que usted me, me, me conteste. Si sí, yo le pregunto... este, que le, que, le conte... sí, que le contestara los lugares que podría visitar. Ajá, entonces dígame, you should go, yes. you should you go, should... you should yes. go. Y you si no hay, me la imaginación. Mande, ¿quién dijo algo? No. Anybody, no, se que escuché a alguien que dijo algo ahí, bueno. Sí, no, alguien, alguien es habló. que si no lo sabemos, si yo, perdón, buenas noches, es que si no es de imaginei, y si no se conoce el lugar de imaginei, imagination, mm -hmm. no sé, no. imaginarse, no. ¿Qué es lo es... que uno podría Exacto. ser? Exacto, imagínese, vaya. Si es, yo no soy yo no soy de San Miguel no, no soy de San pero usted me dice uh, what should what should I see there Mr. Escamilla en la Unión por ende sabemos que en un departamento aquí en San Salvador hay parques hay iglesias hay moles hay qué más playas alright so lo que acaba de decir usted sí just create or just, just make up you know the the information in your mind, all right? So, por eso le digo yo, usted cuando le estén hablando inglés, así tiene que contestar y decir, ah, este me está preguntando esto, ahorita le voy a contestar, así. Pero si usted se queda así como que, ¿qué me está diciendo este gringo feo? Dice usted, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, con todo respeto a los gringos, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted dice, ¿qué me está diciendo esta persona? Yo no entiendo. Entonces, usted tiene que crearse los, you need to make up, you know, the information faster. For example, if you say, if you ask me, Mr., what should I see there? I would say, okay, here in La Union, you, you should go to the, to the downtown. There's a big park, a very nice park, and there's a lot of people there, and you will have a, you know, typical food, all right? So, and also, you should go, you should go to the beaches, right? So I believe El Cuco or El Tamarindo, I don't know which one is from La Unión, you tell me, all right? So you should go to those beaches, are the best ones in El Salvador, all right? And also, I suggest you to go to, to the mall. To the mall, there's a big mall like uh, La Gran Villa in San Salvador, así. Easy money, you see? All right, so... La, la cosa es de que tenemos que estar atentos, como les dije la vez pasada, you should, you know, you should pay attention. You need to recognize or acknowledge the question that I'm asking you. Y le digo, do you, do, do you, should, could, will. Y como, como existe el should, existe el shouldn't, right? Acuérdense de eso. Este es el positivo. Y está el negativo, ¿verdad? Pero ya lo vamos a ver más adelante. All right, so, esto es paso a paso. Tranquilos, 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 ¿ok? So, let's see. Give me one second. Vamos a ver, vamos a pasar rápido a esto. All right, uh, lesson uh, 110, all right? It says like this. The objective says, in this session, modal verbs can and should would be taught in order to ask and answer questions, all right? So, vamos a ver. Modal verbs, can and should, all right? Let's see. You have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced. Those are called modal verbs. Modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. 
What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, we'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't <coughs> go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. All right, are we clear with that explanation? Uh, my kids, yes. Do you have uh, any questions about this explanation that this young lady gave us? Is that clear? I mean, you can practice and you can review this information. Remember that we just have an hour class that is not enough, all right? So we should have like a three hours or four hours, you know, together and believe me that you will get more information, all right? So, but anyways, let's see. If you don't have any questions, let me go ahead and pass to the platform real quick. Let's see, Give me one second. Let's have a, let's see, let's see. Just a moment, let's see. Just a moment. Give me one second. All right, I have a... Teacher, estoy teniendo problemas con mi conexión. Ya me sacó una vez y volví a entrar al asiento. It's okay, Iris. All right, let's see. All right, let's tell me if you are able to see what I'm going to check. All right, this is the uh, the format, all right? So the file that I sent you earlier today, right? So not pretty earlier, not pretty early, but you know, I sent you this, you know, in order for you guys have an idea what we're doing right now, right? So uh, I just want to make sure, guys, that you are understanding this part, all right? So I'm going to be quick with this because we need to double check some other um, top, I mean, subtopics, okay? So these ones are the model verbs, the one we that we are going to double check or use most likely, all right? So, all right, when you are using all this information, uh, my kiddos, you will sound better. I mean, the way that you're going to be talking would be amazing, all right? So... When you start using, y hey, créanme que al principio cuesta, porque usted dice, uh, por ejemplo, yo me quedo con ustedes hasta las, let's see, nueve y media. All right, so dígame a alguien, ¿cómo me dirían si nos podemos, nos podemos ir ya? Ocupando a uh, alguno de estos modal verbs. ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? ¿Cómo sería su, su sent, si usted, si yo estoy aquí, lero, 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 y, y usted dice, hombre, le agarró la platicona y, y nunca corta, entonces usted dice, a ver, ¿cuál sería las, la, 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 la oración que me dirían usted? ¿Nos tendríamos que ir ya, Mr. Escamilla, o continuamos mañana? ¿Cómo sería esa oración? Nos podemos. Que... Uh -huh. Sir, we can finish the class now, teacher. Mm, but, me, uh -huh. can, may I go out at this moment? May I go to, I mean, may I go at this moment? Yeah. Oh, the other, we, we can, should. We can, can, you, we can finish can the class? Can you finish the class this moment? Oh, well, like this, right? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Camilla, we should finish. The class is from eight to nine. Not from eight to not from eight to ten. 
All right. So we should go now because it's too late. I need to eat. We should go now. You see? Little by little, step by step, you're going to be using this uh, uh, model verbs. Okay? So let's see. Model verbs are, you know, I'm going to show you this uh, quickly. I mean, quickly. I'm sorry. Quickly. All right. So, and you already have this, right? And let me know if you could open it. Lo pudo abrir. Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, yes, so yes, yes. We have the model verbs, all right? So can, cool, may, uh, might, must, shall, should, will, will. All right? So está when are models verb used? Likehood, I mean, likelihood. Something seems likely, but we don't know for sure. In these cases, you can use model verb should, and must to show prob uh, probability probability without uh, certainty, all right? So her parents must be so proud. My baby brother should be asleep by now, okay? So, aquí tenemos unos ejercicios. Está bien largo este, este, esta PPT, pero quiero que lo, lo analice usted en su tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Le va a poner atención, hay unos ejercicios y usted los puede ir a uh, este cómo se dice contestando dice baby should be by brother asleep now my okay model verbs when are model verb use possibility in situations when something is possible but not certain use the model verb could may or might judging by the cloud it might rain today all right juzgando por las nubes Pueda que llueva hoy, ¿verdad? He might become the youngest professional soccer player ever. All right? So, we understand, right, this uh, sentence, yes? ¿Se entienden estas oraciones, sí, verdad? He might become uh, the youngest professional. All right, so. Teacher, can you yes. repeat? Judin, uh, how do you say? Which one? La primera? Uh, no. Ajá, la primera. Eh, ju, eh, uh, judging, dijo, eh, judging, judging by cloud. But if you don't yo, believe me, if you don't believe me, you remember that we need to have our arma letal, verdad? El, el traductor. Yes. All right. Lo, Thank you, teacher. Okay. Judging by the clouds, it might rain today. All right. Very good. Very good. So, judging, okay? Juzgando por las nubes, posiblemente llueva esta noche. Llueva hoy, perdón. All right. Let's see. Estamos acá. Solo para hacer la unidad, tiene como 60 slides esto, ¿verdad? Así que hay para este, divertirse, más bien este, entender los model verbs, right? No solamente son tres slides, son varios, ¿verdad? When model, verb, when model verbs use suggestions advice all right so so what what if you want to recommend something what if you want to recommend something but not command it if you are giving suggestions or advice without ordering someone around you can use the model verb should like you should try the lasagna all right so for example yo le digo guys you should practice after this class right you should practice after this class yes gabriel dígame can you send use these modal verbs yes i already sent it to the whatsapp group ahí está ya lo mandé solo descarguelo ahí está hoy antes de empezar la clase lo mandé si sí, es cierto lo mandó yes ahí búsquelo no se preocupe all right, so, and you see, yo le digo, ahorita le puedo decir algo a Gabriel, ¿verdad? Usando este modal verb, este modal verb. Gabriel, you should check your WhatsApp group. You should, you, you should check the WhatsApp group because I sent this uh, uh, PPT file earlier tonight. All right? Yes. Okay, very good. You see? Step by step, you will be using those model verbs, all right? So, and, si sería lo contrario, acuérdese que si estamos tratando con el should, usted va a aplicar shouldn't. 
como decía el ejemplo anterior, ¿verdad? We shouldn't miss to visit. ¿Qué no podemos perdernos de visitar aquí en El Salvador? Si usted no es de El Salvador, ¿qué le diría un, a un extranjero que no puede perderse de visitar? O lo cuilta. La playa, ¿verdad? O lo cuilta. <risa> All right, so usted me dice, you shouldn't, okay. you shouldn't miss, hey, Thomas, you shouldn't miss to visit o lo cuilta pupuserías. All right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't miss the beaches that we have here in El Salvador because those beaches are the best ones ever, ever, ever. Okay. So let's see. Should lasagna try you? Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Where the last guy Kalan Shul. All right. So todo eso usted lo va a ir a uh, agarrando. Si no lo entiende, me lo puede traducir y usted le va dando este forma a la lo que es la PPT que le acabo de dar. Okay. When are models verb use obligation or necessity? All right, so we have to wait for our bus to arrive before we open. We have to wait. You don't need to come if you don't want to. All right, so estos son otros, otros model verbs. All right, so, quiero ver, vamos a ver. Si se da cuenta, mire, estamos, son, aquí están los ejercicios, mire. Que yo quiero que me lo, me lo desarrolle. Mira, aquí está. As a child, as a child, she will she, or she will oh, always oh. write in a in her journal before going to sleep. ¿Cuál sería? Will. Willed. Willed. Yes. No will. Willed. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, entonces ahí está, mira. Y ahí lo va, y ahí siguen, mm. los, ahí siguen los demás. Usually in the morning, he will or he will go for a round in the park. Y aquí están todos los ejercicios. Esos me los puede desarrollar en, su, en su tiempo libre, mire. Okay. Creo que hasta me pasé. ¿Verdad? Request. All right, so we use could you and would you as a polite ways of telling or asking someone to do something, right? Si yo le digo, ¿qué pasaría si yo le digo, play the camera on now? ¿Verdad que se oye bien feo? Como que yo le dijera, enciende la cámara ya, pues. ¿Verdad que se oye? orden. Como que es verdad. No, no, sí se oye como orden, pero se oye bien, bien golpeado, ¿verdad? Usted dice, este, 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 este teacher nos está hablando bien golpeado. ¿Verdad? Ya, se, ya sentí la pechada. Ya sentí la, así la, la manada. ¿Va, pues, es pues, pésimo. Pésimo, <ríe> pésimo, exacto. Pero lo mismo es español, eh, lo mismo en español e inglés. Pero si yo les digo... ¿Cómo los trata? Mis niños, my kiddos, oh, guys. Eh, en español, ¿va? niños, ¿me podrían hacer un favorcito? ¿Podrían ser tan amables y me ponen la cámara activada? Por favor. Lo mismo en inglés, ¿verdad? No, hay. Could you please play the camera on? Last warning. Porque ya les di dos warnings, ¿verdad? Y ya es, este es el tercero. Yo les digo, pero todavía estoy siendo bien bonito, ¿verdad? A la hora de hablar. Polite, polite ways. ¿Qué quiere decir polite ways? When you are talking with models. Forma educada. Educated, forma educada. Ok. Ok, entonces usted le, usted le dice, could you please play the camera on? All right, so aquí dice, mire, could you take a message, please? Quienes trabajan en oficina y usted le ordena a la secretaria o a la recepcionista, le dice, could you take a message, please? Because I'm busy right now. No, que mire, que mire, uh, Mr. González, they want to talk to you. And Mr. González, go like this. Regina, no sé cómo se llama ahí la, la recepcionista. Julia, 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 I'm sorry. Julia, could you please, could you please take a message? Or could you take a message, please? All right, so la otra dice, mire, would you carry this for me? Va entrando ahí el jefe, vamos a ver quién tiene cara de jefe aquí. Yo lo miro a todos con cara de jefe, ¿verdad? Le miro a Gabriel, va entrando Gabriel, ¿verdad? Va entrando con bastantes libros para la oficina y le dice Gabriel a Amalia y a María, Will you carry this for me? Porque lo están viendo que va a casi cayéndose y ellos no, no, le, no, no miran así que poderle ayudar a él, ¿verdad? Y él, él les dice, 
Will you carry this for me, Maria and Amalia? Because I'm very busy. Please. All right. So, pero se lo pidió con modales, con elegancia, ¿verdad? Entonces, se fija, aquí están todos estos. Vamos a parar aquí un momento. Permítame. Stop churn. Vamos a pasar lista real quick. Okay. Give me one second. Just, just a moment. Okay. All right. Abimael Octavino Ramirez Lopez. Él está de oyente. Ya mandó el mensaje. Aleida Arely García Martínez. Aleida Arely García Martínez. Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Pérez. Yeah. Hábleme un poquito más fuerte porque casi no se le oye, mi estimada. Porfa. Could you please talk to me? Very good. You see? You see? Oh. Pero hey, mire cómo me contestó. ¿Se dio cuenta? Presenme así, pero bien enojada. Yo le, yo le dije, could you please talk to me louder? Porque no se le escuchaba, ¿verdad? Ya me presen. Very good, Alita. All right. Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Pérez. Amalia contestó. Ah, ok. I'm sorry. Very good. Mire, sigue. All right. Diego Francisco Aguilera Rodríguez. Present. Elizabeth, thank you. Elizabeth Enriqueta Rivera de López. Present. Thank you, Francisco Armando García Florentino. Present. Gabriel is, thank you. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. Present. Thank you, Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Present. Thank you, Iris Vanessa Quiller Batres. Yo creo que ella está teniendo problemas con su internet, pero aquí está. Isaac Adonai Tovar. Isaac Adonai Tovar. Jessica Ale Alexandra Meléndez López. Jessica Alexandra Meléndez López. Joao Mauricio Villalta Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you, José Herminio Ramírez Umaña. Present. Thank you, José Heriberto Durán Prado. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Juana Inés Velázquez Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda Hazel Fern uh, Fermán Díaz. Present. Mar Thank you, Maria del Carmen Guzmán Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Miriam Darlene Escobar Ceron. Present. Thank you, Miriam Maricela Escobar Ceron. Present. Thank you, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present. Thank you, Orquidia Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Patricia del Carmen Alfaro de Hernandez. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Pleites Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Roxana Yasmin Cedillo Lemus. Present. Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you, Sonia Egriselda Pinti de Mejibar. Sonia Gris, very good. Uh, Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Thomas Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. Thank you, mister. Thank you, Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. <coughs> Let's go. Very good, very good. Let me see if nobody sent me a message to the chat. Let's see. All right, Aleida Arely dijo que aquí está. Tengo problemas con la conexión. Okay, very good. Iris está aquí también. Aquí me mandó un mensaje. Y José está de oyente también. José Heriberto Durán Prado. Okay. Abimael también. And Laura también. Okay, very good. All right, let's see. Just a moment. Okay. Oops. All right, are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. So, as you can see, guys, this uh, PPT or PowerPoint presentation is, for, I mean, 
you you will see that there's a lot of information and how you can use cool and should or most likely the model verbs. All right, está bien estructurada. Donde y cuando usted lo va a aplicar. Imagínense aquí está en ofertas e invitaciones. All right, so usted dice cómo le digo a esta persona que necesito ayuda, verdad? Entonces usted ya dice Can I help you? Can I do that for you? All right. Más adelante, como le, le explicaba anteriormente, usted va a ir entendiendo los, los, las maneras formales e informales, ¿verdad? Y usted se va a dar cuenta que hasta los mismos nativos, ellos tienen problemas para expresarse, ¿verdad? Usted rápido va a identificar, usted rápido me identifica a mí si yo estoy hablando, le estoy hablando mal o le estoy hablando bien, ¿verdad? O le estoy hablando más bien este, con, con educación, más bien con, con modales, ¿verdad? Pero si yo le, yo, yo le empiezo a gritar, le empiezo a decir cosas, usted dice, usted identifica. Entonces, lo mismo es en inglés. You will have, I mean, you will pay attention. You will say, ah, this guy is talking me like this. Ah, este me está hablando feo. Ah, ya, ya lo voy a poner quieto yo también, ¿verdad? Because he shouldn't tell me, he shouldn't ask me this question like the way he did. He should tell me, could you please... ¿Verdad? No sé si se ha fijado usted que a veces usted está hablando en su oficina, en su trabajo, y solo pasa una persona y no dice ni buenos días. ¿Verdad? Solo pasa. Y usted dice, dice mire qué lindo. He should said good morning. Right? He, she should said hello, excuse me. All right? Or when somebody's asking you something. ¿Qué le dice usted cuando alguien le, le, cuando, cuando alguien le pide algo? Digamos, si es un niño, un niño, pongámosle de cinco años, usted le dice, what is the magic word? And what is the magic word for you? What is the magic please. word? Please, right? Please. please, please. Usted le dice, what is the magic word? Ah, oh, please. Oh, okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay, so you should, you should ask the things, please. Could you please? Entonces aquí dice, offers and, invit and invitations. Dice, Can I help you? We, we use can I to make offers. All right. We can you we can also use shall I. Shall I mean shall I help you with that? Shall I mean shall I call you on your model? Shall. Pero este bien así, esto usted se lo va a escuchar. Si usted mira alguna película o alguna conversación o vea las noticias del de UK, de United Kingdom, usted va a escuchar esta palabra bastante, mire. Esta, shall. I shall. Shall I help you with that? All right, so. And, perdón. Informal English. Shall we be used to explain and describe the events that will happen in the future? All right, let's see. I hope you can. All right, vamos. I call you show on mobile year. All right, so mire, our free invitation again. We sometimes, y si se fija aquí siguen más los ejercicios, mire. Si gusta, pues se los doy para que usted me los conteste y tal vez me los puede mandar en un archivo, ¿verdad? Oops, me le di esta. Esa no es, ¿verdad? Oops. All right, asking for permission. All right, si usted va a preguntar alguna, algo de, de, de permiso, usted dice, we use can to ask permission to do something. All right, give me one second. All right, can I ask a question, please? All right, can we go home now? Vaya, esta era otra que usted me puede decir, ¿verdad? Son las nueve y media y Mr. Escamilla le agarró la, la platicona. Y vienen todos y me dice, Mr., o sea, por educación, ¿verdad? No solo se desconectaron y se fueron, sino que, Mr., we need to go to sleep and the class is from 8 to 9. Can we go home now? Yo, what time it is? Oh, it's 10 to 9. Of course you can. Go ahead. All right. Cool is... <clears throat> Aquí está lo que él decía. Cool is more formal and polite than can. All right. Porque usted me dice, can we go home now? Me está diciendo, no, pod podemos irnos ya para la casa, ¿sí? 
¿Me explico? Entonces, pero si usted me dice, could we go home now, Mr. Escamilla? It's too late. ¿Quién me levantó ahí la mano? Perdón. Teacher, eh, las presentaciones no se están viendo. Quedó en conjunction. conjunction. Ok, one second. Y ahora, yes. Asking for permission, all right? Yes. Yes. All right, we can use ask for permission to do something. All right, lo que le decía, cool is more formal and polite than can. All right, si yo le digo, cool, I ask a question, please. All right, no, can I ask a question? Usted me está diciendo, puedo preguntar, puedo hacer una pregunta. ¿Verdad? Así se oye. Si usted me lo dice así. Aunque me lo diga suavecito, pero así me lo está diciendo. Pero el cool is more formal and polite. Acuérdese de eso. Yes, Joao. Teacher, este, perdón, yo entiendo que, que el cool es como una probabilidad, uh -huh. podría, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yo sí lo entiendo, no sé si estoy errado. ¿Y el no, qué? Puedo. Es, que una, es que es una posibilidad, ajá, pero okay. lo que sucede es de que el formal y el informal, ahí están, ¿verdad? El formal es okay. cool y el informal es can, porque es informal. No estoy diciendo que no lo pueden utilizar, claro que sí. Porque si usted dice, a veces usted llega y dice, can I have, please, can I have that one? Porque fue a ver unos zapatos y usted dice, can I see that one? Pero es informal, aunque no lo crea. O sea, a pesar que usted se está oyendo bien, pero es informal. Lo más recomendable, lo más bonito, vaya, por decirlo así, es que usted me diga, could I see that one? Could I see the, I mean, the black one? Me dice, quiero ver el, 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 los zapatos. Could I see those black shoes? Entonces me está haciendo más polite. Pero que lo puede, lo puede utilizar los dos, claro que sí puede. Vamos a ver. Asking permission. May I ask a question, please? May we go home now? All right. So esas son otras. Mira, aquí está. Come, I can in. All right. So giving permission. We use can to give permissions. All right. So. You can go home now. You can borrow my pen if you like. Entonces aquí dice, may use, I mean, may is a more formal and polite way of giving permission. You may go home now. You may go home now, guys. All right. O sea, si usted se fija, hasta uno comete errores. O sea, uno tiene que ver todo esto para empaparse todo el tiempo. Porque yo les, yo les usualmente lo que les digo es, you can go home now. Por ejemplo, o lo que le han, o lo que usted ha escuchado de sus previous teachers, right? You can, I mean, you can uh, uh, turn your cameras off if you want. You can. Pero yo le, yo le puedo decir, you may turn your cameras off now if you want, guys. Más educadamente. All right, so. Y mire, aquí sigue, y sigue, y sigue, sigue, y sigue, y sigue, y sigue, y sigue. Y aquí hay más ejercicio. Así que. Tiene para entretenerse. En verdad no me diga que no los puede hacer porque sí puede. ¿Verdad? Entonces, déjenme ver. Vamos a, a verificar. Acuérdense que las conjunctions y los modal verbs, everything that we've been checking so far together, are walking hand by hand. Todo lo que hemos chequeado juntos, todos los temas van caminando de la mano. ¿Verdad? Acuérdense que entre mejor, entre más cosas usted use en su conversación, mejor se va a expresar. Acuérdese de esa parte, que no se le olvide. Entre más cosas usted, entre más vocabulary, eh, entre más vocabulary you use or you add to your conversation, you will, you will sound better and better. Better and better. So that's why I like to speak English with you. Gabriel, dígame. Me a rato veo a Gabriel aquí. ¿Qué me, qué me iba a decir, Gabriel? Eh... Ahorita que veo esa, esa imagen que tiene ahí, eh, tiendo un poco a confundir cuándo usar el will, cuándo usar el will. No sé si habrá alguna forma eh, para poder entenderlo un poco mejor. O... Oh, claro, okay, claro. Pues... Yo le voy a mandar un, una PPT eh, del, del will. Por ejemplo, el will es prácticamente cosas a futuro. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo yo, I will go tomorrow to your house. Yo voy a ir, yo voy a, yo voy a ir to, uh, a su casa mañana. I will go and talk with your parents. Yo voy a ir a hablar con sus padres. Pero will es 
posibilidad, yo tal vez si le ponemos contexto a, a lo que le acabo de decir, que yo voy a ir a visitar a sus padres mañana, yo le puedo decir, uh, I would like to go and visit your parents tomorrow. Me gustaría visitar a tus padres mañana. O sea, el will es posibilidad, pero acuérdense que siempre, siempre le da énfasis al verbo. Sí. I would like to go. And I will go es yo iré a ver a tus padres mañana. I will go to see your parents sí. tomorrow. Watch. Yes. But no worries. Okay. Sir. You know, you. Step by step, you will, you will get the, I mean, what we're looking for right now. Okay, let's see. Give me one second. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Permítame. Okay. Let's see. Let me know. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Yes. Yes. Do you see the the games, the model verbs? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Vamos a ver. All right. All right. So I'm going to be asking some questions, right? Quiero que you make up your uh, scenarios in your head. I mean, in your mind. All right. So quiero que haga sus escenarios así. Porque así usted va a aprender más rápido. Ah, pero eso está bien difícil. ¿Usted porque ya puede? No. Así hubiera querido que me lo enseñaran a mí. Pudiera tres idiomas, dos idiomas más. Pero porque he venido rebotando, yo lo, quiero que usted lo agarre más rápido y se haga trilingüe un día. That's will. Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver, Gabriel, usted va a ser el primero, porque usted me preguntó y le voy a preguntar yo. Vamos a ver. Gabriel, what time she be at work every day? What time she be at work every day? ¿Qué es lo que estamos extrañando aquí? What time she, what time? ¿Qué es lo que le falta aquí en estos tres puntitos? ¿Algún, ahí me tiene que poner lo que es un moral verb. Will. What time will seguro. Will. Alguien que le ayude a... Will. A, will, right? Will. Will. Uh -huh. Will. will. What, every what, time, day. what time she will at work every day? She mm -hmm. will be working she every will. day at I mean or at she work will, every day she will be working uh, at work from 8 to oh. 5 p.m. all right so eso es lo que quiero que hagan verdad ah okay. bien ya, ya me contestó mal y usted la segunda permítame teacher ask question go ahead vaya mal permítame say a sentence with can go ahead Say a sentence we can. Amalia. Hola. Hello. Say a sentence with can. Say a sentence with can. Mm. Cold. Mm. With cold. With can. Say a sentence. Dígame una oración con el modal verb can. Can't. Ah. You can't, uh, you can uh, uh, help me. You can help me. Yes. Mm -hmm, pero ese no es acento. Ahí le falta el complemento. You can help me. Dígame, um, dígame. Uh, question. You, you, can can help, <laughs> you, you can help me with the question. All right. Very good. Very yeah. good. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Vamos a ver. All right, let's see. Uh, Rosa Plates. Tell a friend something they must do before school is finished. What? Tell a friend something they must do before school is finished. Um... <sighs> Que le diga, make, que, make a, que le hable, que le, que le diga algunas cosas. Dígale a un amigo algo que debería hacerse antes que la escuela se finalice. 
Uh, y ahí viene usted y hace el make up, right? O sea, no le va a decir, tenés que ir a la playa, tenés que ir allá, no, ¿verdad? O sea, o sea, eso, usted le diría a un amigo, you should practice more, you should uh, visit, you, you know, places, nice places, in order to get more you information. Should, you, you should mm -hmm. take the uh, teeth. Um, no, you, you should mm -hmm. speak English very, very well. Very good, very good. Ahí, ahí le mandé el link para que este, le den una ojeadita también a esta, a esta página, ¿ok? So, vamos a buscar el, lo, unos últimos, unos últimos tres, porque la vez pasada se me cortó la, la grabación. Y vamos a recuperar este un tiempo que perdimos, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, como unos tres minutos. No se me vayan, please. You should stay here with me. All right, so let's see. Vamos a ver quién me va a contestar ahorita. Susanita o Susan, todavía se encuentra por acá, Susan. Si no, Joao. You should y está en los tres puntitos. Touch anything at the art museum. You wore, you wore anything at the at the at the art museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. You work. Wore. You wore. You will touch. You um, mm -hmm. you Ahí sería prácticamente. Ah, you shouldn't. Acuérdense que el touch es you shouldn't touch anything at the art museum, right? You shouldn't. No debería de tocar como... nada en él, en el Museo de Arte, right? Museo de Arte, sí. Very Perdón, good, very good. Me, no, había visto, no había visto Touch. No, 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 no worries, no worries. Ese es como el, como el, como el hint, como la clave. Okay. Very, okay. very good, gracias, very good. Gracias. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Uh, let's see. Elizabeth Enriqueta. Let's see. Students. Oops, hold on. Students. Tres puntitos, copy each, each other during the exam. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Qué es lo que? We missing, we are missing. Dos, uh, esos tres puntitos, ¿qué nos dice? Students. Students can't copy each other student during an exam. An exam. El otro, ¿cuál sería? El otro, el otro moral verb. ¿Cuál sería? Student. 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 Yes. A student shouldn't copy each other during an exam, right? Very good. Okay, so, ya nos vamos, ya nos vamos, okay? All right, let's see. Mirna Griselda. Medio la veo a Mirna, ¿verdad? Okay, Mirna. Make a, make a sentence with have to. Make a sentence with have to. Easy, easy. Have... I have to practice sports. I have to practice sports. Very good, very good. Okay. So let's see. Vamos a ver. Tomás. Uh, hold on. Esta ya la ya le dijimos. Vamos a darle otra. Citizens okay. nowadays were a mass to go to the street. Citizen sí, nowadays. Tres puntitos. Citizen nowadays. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh, nowadays. Could wear a mass to go to the street. Uh -huh. ¿Cree usted que los ciudadanos deberían estos días ponerse una máscara para ir a las calles? ¿Verdad? ¿Usted cree que creer, creería que se tendría que ponérsela o no ponérsela? Así, así a las cabales, andar con máscara. Citizen, nowadays, ¿cuál sería ahí? Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. Shouldn't, shouldn't. right? Shouldn't wear, shouldn't. Shouldn't wear a mask. A mask to go to the street. Ok, very good, very good. The last one, the last one, ok. The last one. Let's see, Maria del Carmen Guzmán. 
didn't you see me at the concert yesterday? I see you. It was crowded. No. ¿Cuál sería ahí la respuesta? El verbo es sí. Did you see me at the concert yesterday, Maria? I I don't see you. It was crawling. Venga a sacar algo, pues. ¿Cuál sería el verbo ahí? O ¿Cuál sería la, la respuesta? I I didn't see. Um, I didn't see I didn't. you, right? I don't yeah. see. Yeah. I don't I, see you. I didn't. I didn't see I you. Didn't. It was crowded. I it was. It was crowded, right? No te vi. Yeah. I, no te vi. Estaba bien eh, lleno. Estaba muy, había mucha gente. All right. Very good. Okay. So. All right. So. Okay. Ya nos vamos. No estoy recuperando el tiempo de la vez pasada. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Gabriel, Isaac, Guevara, tell me. Say a sentence we can. Say a sentence we can. Yes, sir. Uh, can you uh, study uh, Mathematics. Can you study math? Yeah, of course I can. Maths? All right. Yes. Very good. Very good. All right. It's okay, guys. Uh, this is it. I will see you tomorrow. All right. Tell me, Gabriel. Oh, yeah. Eh, the, the use of shall. Eh, eh, es como para dar una orden o okay? qué? Porque shall eh, en español es deberá. Shall. Uh, me, me lo está diciendo de esta manera. Shall. Así. H H A L L. Yes. Es como uh, una manera polite de pedir las cosas. O sea, I shall, deberá, o sea, debería. O sea, I shall explain better and better. I shall explain you. Debería explicarles mejor, mejor los temas, ¿verdad? You shall explain us in a better way. Como le digo, este moral verb casi no lo va, no lo va a escuchar usted en los nativos de Canadá ni de Estados Unidos, como le repito, usted lo va a ver en lo que es el en UK. Vea las noticias y esa palabra la va la va a escuchar a cada rato. A cada rato. Show, 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 show. All right? So, do you have any other question guys before we go to sleep because I know that you guys are tired? Everything clear? Yeah. Clean mm. as water? I mean clear as water? <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. I see you tomorrow. God's will. Have a I have a wonderful. I see you tomorrow, uh, baby. Okay. I see you tomorrow. Take it easy. All right. Thank you. All right. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night guys. Everyone. Good night. Very good.